Hi and welcome to a new video and a new filming background because in this video I want to take you along the mini home makeover that I did. I've lived in this place for 17 years, also oh my gosh 17 years, and I really didn't think that such a small change could make such a big change in my house and in my living space and in my mind honestly because this is such an amazing upgrade and I cannot wait to show everything in depth and sort of take you along. So this process started honestly only about a week ago. It has been sort of in my mind for a bit longer but everything came together. After this first sort of idea popped in my head, I quickly realized that I wanted to put everything not really down on paper, but in a Notion page. So I built a full page listing sort of the available space, everything that I wanted for this, for this area, things that I wanted to buy, things that I needed to buy, a combination of stuff that I wanted to put in there, everything that I already had and that I would think would look great and sort of, that that whole thing then on thursday after work my mom and i went to the ikea to pick up four billy bookcases and some boxes that you actually still see hiding in between here but we'll not talk about that and drop everything off here at my home in delft because the next day so friday we started building at around 9 30 and around 1 1 30 everything was already done so this this whole video this sort of amazing area has is only made possible by my amazing mom thank you mom she is the billy bookcase builder champion so from now on you can definitely call 1-800-LIZU to <laughs> to have my mom come and build billy bookcase for you within like half a day we were done building the whole thing then of course it had to be filled and styled and that is everything that i'll show you the result of in this video i'll first show some before clips then some process clips and then i'll go billy bookcase by billy bookcase plank by plank into everything that you sort of already see behind me and yeah i'm just really excited to show you but yeah anyway without further ado let's go start this video i'm currently sitting on my sofa looking at this thing that is going away i think that's still actually dusty so we'll move it up a bit so this is the before of this project that i'm undertaking to be fair this is not the before there is actually before before this before just imagine lots of clutter lots of dust here <laughs> and also lots of objet d'art like favorite already things that I wanted to put here but it sort of grew in size and grew in clutter but now it's time to move from sort of a horizontal element that is really flat and low to the ground to more vertical elements that will use more of sort of this space in between my ceiling and my floor that will give me room to put things and also give me room to put things on top and then have lots of room still for like the cutest decorations. This is sort of the area that I always decorate for the seasons. TV is going, light bulb is going, then cleaning is happening and then off to Ikea. Got back from Ikea, got some white boxes, got some stuff that was still at my parents' house, got the stuff that I ordered, got tools. So the job of tonight is going through this crazy big D-stash pile. Um, it's fallen over as I was sort of preparing to either keep or donate. And um, yeah, this is a mess I need to tackle right this minute. The current status, I'm really proud. I mean, it's still a mess, but yay, it's coming together. 
Good morning. I did some DIYing last night. I painted these cardboard letters. This one was already a bit pink, but I painted them white. The back is still cardboard. And then this is a little house and the sort of planks were wood and I didn't really like that. So I painted them white as a sort of base layer and then I'm gonna add black over them. And then it's gonna look great. This one I got from my friend Wendy and it's really fun to repurpose it in my project mini home makeover. And these ones are obviously gonna be uh, on top of the Billy bookcases and they're gonna say washi in different uh, colors. Final job for now, painting this black so it can dry and then a vacuum cleaning everything. So yeah, let's do that. Welcome to my new and improved mini made over living room. Starting off in my very cozy reading nook. I have a reading nook now. The um, windows are actually here and I have canal view. So plenty of light. And also I have lights on top of my Billy bookcases. The big blue pillow I have had for maybe 25 years. The one with the dots, the gold dots is from Primark. I think the gray one with the gold is from next this is from H&M home probably from their baby range but it looks great here that one I picked up in Norwich in an independent shop and it says this house runs on love laughter and Prosecco it's it's a tiny bit live laugh love but it's cute then the poof the actual poof that's here and the throw blanket the blue one I got from my parents and this one I picked up at a really fancy garden center this little table belonged to my grandpa and I have two little balls there and my mug i got a target my phone is there now and then also when you go up you have some string lights and some cute little hearts and then actually behind the curtain here i have more string lights also some dust i'm so sorry and there's a little charging station that i put here so there's a uh, lots of cords as you can tell so that's hiding so that's perfect for charging all the things and yeah, then let's go into all the Billy bookcases. These first two Billy bookcases are definitely siblings. The rest are more cousins of each other. And we start up here with sort of my book talk area. These are the books that I still need to read. And these are the books that I have already read. They are alphabetized by author. Thank you, mom, for doing that. I think I might group them together like this was really fun and I might let go of that one. For instance, these four I really enjoy, but these two, not really. Then here, a lot of stuff that I got actually in Newcastle and Sunderland. And then here is a bit of a preview. These are the books I got in London when I was there in September. Then hiding behind here is some B Choice books that I do still want to read or at least have a look at and see if I want to keep them or not. Then here I have a lot of bookmarks and then ending off my sort of book talk area is this little wire basket I got from Flying Tiger and it holds my annotating <laughs> color strips, some um, post-its that I got as well, plus some bookish stamps that I will use in my reading journal. And then this sort of three uh, planks area is ended by my art area. This is by Olive Slingerland. It's still Delft pottery, but isn't it? just yeah and this is a really lovely gift that I got from my best friend from university we gave each other art and that is such a lovely piece to now display although the angle is not yeah I would have preferred it to be on top somewhere but then it catches all the dust the little one I bought as an accompanying art piece and then these two are little wedge root pieces they're probably F choice not even B but I picked these up uh, one of them at least at Portobello market in London and there's a third piece down on the next line actually close to my reading nook more books these are all by Jan Lancaster a cute little candle holder with another fake candle back there 
and then here at the bottom a lot of business babe books here for instance what would the spice girls do so not all of them are that uh, strict but there's a nice combination about sort of working this is about office jargon then money and then it moves into Instagram things. And then the third one here has some books about etiquette and fashion. Yes, A Modern Girl's Guide to Getting Hitched. No plans, this is not a soft launch on YouTube, but still it's a nice collection of books that I've gathered over the years. An old Hermes box with my third little Wedgwood piece on there. And behind there actually is a happy planner little teacher quote object so it's just mdf and there is a kath kitston tin that i picked up at the outlet center in york and then here like i said my fashion books tim gunn love tim gunn then we have fashion fashion nina garcia yes i am of that generation i have whitney port lauren conrad here and also kelly catrone um so this these girls were from the hills and from the city and then kelly catrone was their mentor i have to say these books are really good she is a bit of a polarizing figure on the series but i really enjoyed her books i think this might be my favorite this is my cocktail plant and this collection of books started when i was in sunderland i picked up winter warmers rosé prosecco and i think tequila made me do it for two pounds each at a similar store to the works and then i sort of found out that there were way more so i ordered all of those rum made me do it is coming and i think that one is supposed to go here so then winter warmers moved somewhere and then in theory if there's more books coming i can remove this box and change things up again speaking of this box is the bottom of a rituals gift package so it's pretty in gold so that's why i put it in also because it keeps these glasses a bit safe this is from kate spade a little uh, shot measurer this used to be full of candies from depot and then these glasses are the ones that i recently got from vintage i picked two of these up at a thrift store near me and then i broke one of them within a week but thankfully right on vintage i suddenly found them this week so now i have five more so i have six in total moving down this is one that i'm still sort of working on it does have two of my little um candles fake candles that i got from action one of them actually works with a little uh, remote that i have on my grandpa's little table i do want to have the kate spade boxes here and i've added in this little elephant that i got from my grandma when she went to south africa behind here is a little globe and a little uh, tumbler glass from the Po and this little carry-on cocktail kit. Really cute to have the option to make this even cuter. Maybe I want to move some of my Kate Spade books here, but I think they are too tall, so I'll have to lie them down, which is fine. But then this whole thing needs to change around, so we'll have to discuss and debate on that later. And then, actually, I'm just going to move it a tiny bit more to see planners so this is a top half of my planner billy bookcase really exciting so i have a combination here of projects that i'm still working on and things that are sort of done on top here i have a little plate and some small pleasures cards that i picked up at miscellaneous amsterdam sticker storage brief journal old masha planners my kate spade pen pot and behind here is actually the L Kate Spade notepad that I recently picked up at TK Maxx. I do need to find some way to keep it upright because it's slouching over right now and I don't really like that. So actually let me put it like this. Then here I have an old planner with some photo kit stickers, an adorable washi cart. I can only fit the washi in on the top row of this cart, but it still looks adorable right here. Then there's a little good luck cat here that I picked up in Japan and my reusable sticker albums are here. First visiting this little friend on the floor. This is a Vitra elephant and he's adorable and he lives here. Then actually some more books in Billy Bookcase number three. This is my London area. So with QI books, some British literature. This is about words and idioms. Um, more of that behind here. This is a cute little book and some boxes I picked up in Accessorize. Perfect for snacks, but now also perfect for decoration. Then this bottom row holds, again, some objet d'art. So my Kath Kitson box, because it's gorgeous, a candle then two little pottery pieces this china set belonged to my grandmother and then here is a box 
full of my cords and things but it's now in a cute pink and gold box from Sosnegrene so that is perfect and actually this whole thing stands on another rituals box the bottom half of rituals box but then flipped over so it's a riser instead of a box and then over here i have some flowers that i move over so it's out of the frame then this holds more planner stuff so here we have my b6 planner and the stickers that i still want to use with it and it is in a gold wire basket that i got from intratown my hometown creative journal the aquarian sticker book bibliophilia and another candle this little dish i got from kiki k in their advent calendar a cube notebook and some chintz gift wrap then hiding behind here is a little tin that i picked up i think home sense canada in toronto and it is this tin with all kinds of stationery items it is empty now so i could put maybe some stationery in there maybe actually my watercolors that might be a bit logical because then you can do grab and go but we'll see about that then here honestly it's a bit of a mismatch of all kinds because there are some chair coat hooks from ikea here and they are on top of my linus pots washi tapes love them then i have some book journals here really cute they are on top of my happy planner discs then I have a mason jar here with some of my paper clips and this is my washi puzzle. Um, <clears throat> thankfully the mason jars are sturdy. This is my washi tape puzzle. I do agree that there should be a better spot for it but it, it makes sense sort of that it lives here now and is happy with all its friends surrounding it and also I can slightly hide it as it is a bit of an eyesore with this um, with face filled with flowers i got these of aliexpress and these are from xenos side note these are the mini billy bookcases they're 40 centimeters 28 centimeters by 106 centimeters they were 29.95 euros and i bought one extra plank for each of them because they only come with two planks and not three and i wanted three and then lastly we're going to take a look at this top area this first one is still a bit of a work in progress i do have this adorable lamp here and it lights up like this so it's like the perfect reading light for my little reading nook right here in sort of this corner then a sort of motivational cube that i picked up in hobby lobby this is something i picked up probably 15 years ago it's from bloomingville a print from rival paper co in an action frame and i got this at the stad lace in antwerpen then here you have a it matches in color magazine holder from i'm not sure what the brand is but i got it from studio stationery again 15 years ago now it holds some of my posters that i still want to frame and this wire rack this memo rack is i want to say from stradivarius when they still did stationary stuff then for the second one we start with a tokyo building print that i still need to frame one of these candles again from action then my lovely one of my lovely kate spade new york bags that i picked up in new york with mela a marks and spencer's cookie tin that i obviously saved because how cute is this then this is an actual uh, phone you can plug into your smartphone and you can call with it so that is uh, both hilarious and also i really like the pop of color here this little house is from bloomingville again this candle i picked up in paris there's a print behind here from Creative Field Designs. And then behind there is a Desenio print from Paris. While this third beauty bookcase is still a work in progress, it is sort of the top area is my cocktail area. So here I have my soda splash lemon candle from TK Maxx. Then at the front here, I have two rosé all day glasses. I picked up at Tuesday morning in Boston, well, near Boston. They look really cute here with gold paper straws and pink paper straws. Thank you, mum, for separating them out. A little cheers, ow, <laughs> sharp. A little cheers corkscrew that I picked up with Lean in Zurich at Depot. A little hay plate with my cute little uh, opener wine drink bottle openers that i got from paper source in utah this is from poundland i love the gold of it a little cocktail sign here from primark for i think 70 cents and then a letterboard from action the letters are somewhere on my desk i'm going to quickly start up 
here because these little letters are actually papier mache, paper mache. Uh, letters. So that's a really fun sort of pop of color on top of my planner, Billy. You see here my planner girl pen pot. I have in here all my um, pen gems, sparkly pens, um, diamond pens, everything pens, everything that is sort of sparkly and cute. My Barbara Papa is here as well and a little bag that I got from New Look. Hashtag sign from Xenos. A print I got, I think, from Red Bubble, but it could be Society 6. And this lamp I, I, I got in a giveaway. I just need to change the bulb because this wattage is too big. And that was everything on top. It will definitely switch around seasonally because can you imagine like all the pumpkins and all the Christmas stuff here? It's going to look amazing. So that is everything. I am so happy with the results and I cannot wait to edit this video on my reading corner. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely give a big thumbs up for this new filming background and see you in my next video. Bye!